Hello kids, how are you today? Welcome back again to our PQ Lessons in Math 4. This is your teacher, Mr. Ray D. Montesilio. For you to learn a new topic in math subject, please prepare your module one ball pen and keep on watching until the end of this video. So this is now our learning module Math 4, Quarter 1, Week 4. Please do not forget to write your name, address. You have already grade level 4. The name of your school, Tagum Mishu School, and the name of your teacher, Ray D. Montesilio. Now, let's proceed to the second page. We have here objectives. At the end of this lesson, you are going to estimate the product of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 2 to 3 digit numbers with reasonable results. The reference that I am using for this lesson is Math for Life 4, can be found on page 47. In this video class, we will be learning about estimating products how to estimate the products to estimate products you have to round the factors to the place value that will make the computation easier that is why in 92 rows of orange trees with 29 trees in each row there would be 2700 orange trees all together so this is now the example of estimating products now for you to fully understand our lesson Let's watch the video presentation. Please listen well. To estimate the product of 8,291 times 27, we first round so that each number contains only one non-zero digit. So here, we round 8,291 to the nearest thousand, and we round 27 to the nearest 10. To round 8,291 to the nearest thousand, the 2 to the right of the rounding place tells us to round down. So 8,291 rounds down to 8,000. To round 27 to the nearest 10, the 7 to the right of the rounding place tells us to round up. So 27 rounds up to 30. So we have 8,000 times 30. Next, we line up the rounded numbers with the larger number on top and multiply. 8,000 times 30. An easy way to multiply numbers that end with zeros is to first count the total number of zeros at the end of the numbers. In this case, we have three zeros at the end of 8,000 and one zero at the end of 30. Since we have a total of four zeros at the end of the numbers, our answer will end with four zeros. Next, we multiply the non-zero digits. In this case, that's eight times three, which is 24. So we put 24 in front of the four zeros in our answer, and we have 240,000. So 8,000 times 30 is 240,000 which means that 8,291 times 27 is approximately 240,000. Okay, so that's the end of our video presentation. Now let's proceed to the next page. Let's remember to estimate products around the factors to the desired place value before multiplying them. Use your knowledge in multiplying multiples of 10. When estimating how much several times will cost, round up the cost of the item and then multiply it by number of items. Now, let's practice. On activity A, you have to find estimated and actual product. Solve inside the box. This column is for estimated product and for the second column is for actual product. Next, let's proceed to the next page. In this activity, you have to estimate to solve each word problem and give the actual product. Label your answer. You have your word problem 1 until 2. In this time, video lessons in math for has ended. Thank you for listening. God bless and see you on my next video. Goodbye.